Hey there, Brady here. Welcome to my shop. You get the first look at my new shop. First off, we have somewhat of an office here. The nasty old table. But if you walk through this door, I have 1,250 feet of space to do all kinds of stuff with. So as you can see, I've got uh, smaller pieces moved in. The only thing left is to move in the big equipment and my cabinets. And that's still gonna leave me wanting for space and surfaces. So first priority is putting together a storage solution. I've gotta do something with this mess that I've got over here and I can't throw it all away because I gotta figure out what's in it first. So I'm excited about the opportunities. I hope you guys are too. Let's get started. We start this project by cutting down our two by fours to length. For this project, we need six six foot two by fours and 20 shelf supports. It's easiest to start working on the ground, even though my knees don't do very well on the ground. I didn't have much choice. So I started by screwing all of the shelf supports to the horizontal supports, and this took some time. To save myself some effort, I would just build one on top of the other, and that made life just a little bit easier. Once you get a rhythm going, it really isn't that bad. I can't believe that worked. While I had all the shelf supports on their side, I figured I'd use it as a makeshift sawhorse. That worked out pretty well, at least it did this time. At this point, it was easier to cut the MDF down to its final dimension, which for this project was 21 inches. Okay, big fail coming up right here. See, it didn't work so well that time. But not to be daunted, I still had a sawhorse of sorts, even though I had to use my knees a little bit more than the other one. At this point, we can start assembly of the vertical sections. So I start at the top and the bottom and make sure it's fairly square before I drive all the screws in. This is a temporary brace going in, so when I lift it up on its, on its end, the whole thing won't fall over and help keep it square. Now that the front support is in, that temporary brace can come out and we can finish up the other supports. 
What you don't see is that even though I intended for it to be square, one of the ends was a little low, so it needed to be redone. But that's nature of woodworking. You go fix your mistakes. There it is, done. As you can see, this thing can hold a lot of boxes or whatever else you have in your shop. Total cost on this project was $206, including all of the two by fours, MDF, and screws. But for now, my OCD is satisfied. Now I gotta do something about that. While I was building my shelves, I was a two by four short. So when I went back to get another one, I saw this thing. Total cost of this thing, $210. It's only about six and a half feet long, but still. But guess what? Mine's bigger.